Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 13th part of what if Deku was a magical girl mascot, quirk, magical girl mascot, the author of this great fan if I see is Emma Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 13, Break Between Games Izuku looked at his classmate cursorily. He still didn't know why Todoroki wanted to talk. He also knew Katsuki was listening in just in case Todoroki tried something. What did you want to talk about? said Izuku. I don't understand your quirk, said Todoroki. What? asked Izuku, I mean I explained most of it on the way to USJ. Todoroki blushed a little. I might have been taking a nap during the bus ride, said Todoroki. Izuku stared at Todoroki, unsure how to respond. You know my father is the number two hero, right? asked Todoroki. Endeavor. Said Izuku nodding. Tell me, do you know about quirk marriages? Asked Todoroki. Izuku's eyes widened. Todoroki began to explain what quirk marriages were. When two people got married to produce children with strong quirks. They were more common in the early days of quirks and the practice mostly fell out of favor. However Endeavor had done it. He paid my mother's family to marry her for my quirk, said Todoroki. Down the hall Katsuki was gritting her teeth, figuring out why Todoroki was telling Izuku. All my memories of my mother are of her crying, said Todoroki, however she despised my right half and then she poured boiling water on my face. Izuku was staring in horror. I fucking get it now, muttered Katsuki. Todoroki turned to Katsuki. You were listening in? asked Todoroki. Of course I was, said Katsuki, or did you forget what I said at the start of the year? Todoroki glared at her. Kaken? asked Izuku. He compar comparing your quirk to what happened to his mom, said Katsuki. What? asked Izuku. Todoroki said nothing. It's not like that all said Izuku. Todoroki still said nothing. My quirk has a side effect that if I bond with a male, said Izuku. How do you know that? asked Todoroki. Izuku said nothing and just looked at Katsuki. None of your business, muttered Katsuki. Todoroki glared at her. Look if there wasn't a side effect then Izuku would have bonded with Ida weeks ago said Katsuki. Todoroki was surprised at this not as what she said, but rather she used their names. You know, you're probably not going to listen anymore so we're leaving. Muttered Katsuki. Wait. Said Izuku, it's because of that you won't use your fire, right? Todoroki still refused to answer, but the look in face said it all. Izuku nodded and when Katsuki grabbed his arm and they both left the dual colored boy. Once Todoroki was out of earshot, Izuku said this. I think we should tell him. Said Izuku. Katsuki looked at Izuku and sighed. Fine, but we're going to get evidence as well. Said Katsuki, considering this I doubt he'll take it at face value. Izuku nodded. That was when Izuku's phone rang. He saw it was from Recovery Girl. A call from Recovery Girl? asked Izuku. He had her phone number in case of emergencies. Hello? He answered. Hello Midoriya. I need you to come to my temporary office. Said recovery girl, it has nothing to do with your health, don't worry. Why? What happened? Asked Izuku. It's your mother. Said recovery girl. Izuku paled. She cried too much and she passed out from dehydration. Said recovery girl. Oh, that. Said Izuko relaxing quite a bit. She had mentioned it wasn't the first time. Sighed recovery girl. No, it wasn't. Said Izuko, I'll be there soon. He hung up the phone. What's wrong? Asked Katsuki. Oh just that mom cried too much said Izuku. Not, not again. 
sighed Katsuki. They got to the temporary office. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm so proud of you. Cried Inko. Mom, please don't cry. Cried Izuku. I know. Sighed Inko, I need to drink a lot. You should make sure that she does drink before the break is over. Said recovery girl. I will. Said Izuku. I guess we'll be having lunch together. Said Katsuki. Inko nodded. That was when Izuku activated the telepathy to tell Achiko and Suyu that they wouldn't be having lunch together. Hey, you didn't get lunch for us. Fought Izuku. No we didn't. Why? Asked Achiko. Mom cried too much and passed out. Explained Izuku. Really? Asked Suyu. I bet you neighbors complain about water damage. Joked Achiko. About that. Mentally sighed Inko. Really? Asked Achiko. We'll see you later. Fought Izuku. Wait. Katsuki you there's something we have to do. Explained Achiko. What? Asked Katsuki. Apparently, there's a cheerleader competition. Started Suyu. Wait, cheerleader coemption? Asked Inko, there's nothing like that planned. Are you sure? Asked Achiko. I did help plan everything out. Pointed out Inko. Who told you that? Said Katsuki getting a bad feeling. Yayorozu. Explained Achiko. And where did she hear that from? Asked Katsuki. Hold on a second. Said Achiko. In the cafeteria the other girls had gathered so Yayorozu could tell them about the so-called competition. Who told you that there was a cheerleader competition? Asked Suyu. Kaminari and Mineta, and said Yayorozu. The other girls stared at her. You bought that? Asked Jiro face palming. Yayorozu blushed. It was Mineta and Kaminari. Mentally sighed Suyu. Of fucking course. Muttered Katsuki. I'm sorry. Cried Yayorozu. Hey, hey. IT's a good thing Deku and Kaken had to meet with a staff member. Said Achiko, or we would have been tricked. Wait, why did they have to meet with a staff member? Asked Mina. It's a long story. Said Suyu. Can you make the cheerleader costume for me at least? Asked Hagakure. Why? Asked Yayorozu with a sweat drop. I think they're cute. Said Hagakure rubbing the back of her neck nervously. Also how do you think the two will react that the only girl they got is Hagakure? Said Jiro with a smirk. Yayorozu blinked and then smirked. Not too long later, the break was over and the students returned to the stadium. Kaminari and Mineta saw that most of the girls weren't wearing the cheerleader uniform. No! Yelled Mineta. How did you see through it? Asked Kaminari. Me and Deku had to meet with someone from the staff. She told us that there was no cheerleader coemption. Said Katsuki cracking her knuckles. Katsuki, calm down. Said Tsuyu, it didn't work. Mostly, you still got your cheerleader. Said Jiro. The two saw that it was Hagakure. Oh come on. Yelled Kaminari. At least we can see her curves. Said Mineta. What was that? Asked Katsuki. Nothing. Yelled Mineta in fear. All right. Called out midnight, it's time to draw lots for our third event. All right. I've always watched it and now I'm finally going to be a part of it. Said Kirishima. Is it always a tournament? Said Mina. Yeah, last year's was fights with foam swords. Said Kirishima. Wait. Called out Ojiro who was part of Time Shinso along with Aoyama and a small somewhat plump boy from class 1B, I would like to withdraw. 
Everyone was surprised. What? This is your chance, Ojiro, said Izuku. I know, but I don't even remember anything from the event. Said Ojiro, it wouldn't feel right if I remained. I want to dr drop out. Said Tai the boy from 1B. Shoda. You can't be serious. Yelled Manoma. I'm sorry, but he's right. I can't remember anything from the match either. Said the boy named Shoda, and passing without using your own skills, it feels like it should be against the rules. All this talk is naive and it's really turning me on. Said Midnight. Did she just say it turned her on? Thought all of the students. Mashiro Ojiro and Nairin Jenki Shoda have officially dropped out. Said Midnight, now we have to figure out who gets in. Don't worry Ojiro. I will avenge you. Said Aoyama to Ojiro. Once again, they were on the same team. It better not be someone from class 1 up, muttered Manoma, I mean they already have most of the spots. As only four teams ended with points we will have the last team to lose their points move on, which is Team Tetsu Tetsu. Said Midnight. Manoma breathed a sigh of relief. It was decided that Tetsu 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 along with a girl with vines for hair named Ibera Shiyazaki would be the ones to pass on to the next round. All right. Now it's time to draw lots. Said Midnight. The first match was Izuku and Shinso. The second match was Suyu and Todoroki. The third match was Ida and Hatsum. The fourth match was Kaminari and Ibera. The fourth match was Mina and Aoyama. The sixth match was Yayorozu and Tokoyami. The seventh match was Kirishima and Tetsu Tetsu. And the final match was Katsuki and Achiko. All right round face. You ready for a magical girl fight? Asked Katsuki. Achiko just giggled. Suyu was very nervous for tuple reasons while Todoroki was clearing at her. You're Izuku Midoriya? Right? Shinso said as he approached Izuku. Izuku was about to say something when Ojiro stopped him by grabbing his mouth his tail. Ojiro's tail, not Izuku's tail. Don't answer that. Said Ojiro. Shinso just smirked and walked away. What? Said Izuku. I have to explain about his quirk. Said Ojiro. Izuku paled at that implication. All right. We have some recitational games that everyone can play if they wish to. Said Midnight, even those in the tournament can join in. And so the recreational games began. However most of the competitors of the final event sat it out. Izuku spent that time talking to Ojiro about his opponent's quirk. While Tsuyu wondered what she could do as she knew she didn't stand a chance against Todoroki. However the third events would be soon and no one was sure was going to happen. And all they could hope they would pull through. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 14. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.